Rudy, a very warm welcome back to Blackburn Rovers Thank Football you very Club. Much. How excited are you to be starting this new role? Very excited. Um, so pleased to be back at the club, uh, fully employed now. Um, and I look forward to start the season. Head of Football Operations, tell us a little bit about the role itself. What does it entail? So it's uh, overseeing every department at the STC regarding the admin, general administration, catering, uh, recruitment and make sure every department is linked together and that there is also an input with the academy. How important a role do you, do you see it is in terms of bringing all those things together as one, as you mentioned? That's, that's, that's key for, from my point of view. Uh, as a club, we should be all aligned as one, one direction from the academy to the first team. So it's important to have someone to be able to link everybody together. Um, and so I will do my best to make sure we all going in the same direction to reach the same goal. Last year, you were a presence around the senior training centre, around the academy, around the club. What was the sort of benefit of that from your point of view? And why were you around that? So year? it's always easier to get into a club when you know the environment. So during those six months, I was able to observe every department, as you said, so from the, the Ewoods to the STC to the academy. And I had time to meet with every, everybody in the club. So I'm excited now to be a part of it and to be able to, uh, yeah, to, to have uh, some kind of input to, uh, to help the club to reach the, the dream. How valuable was it for you to be able to see everything with your own eyes and, and get an idea of how things work before coming into the new role? You always have uh, some kind of assumption when you're outside of the club, when you think uh, you know what's happening inside, but it's always different. So it was very important for me to be able to be inside the club and speaking to people and uh, and understand why we are in this situation and where the club is going to be. So I'm pleased now, uh, uh, to, I'm very happy to have to had this experience before and now to be fully involved, yeah. You, you've said previously that this is the side of football that you wanted to go yes. into. Is this the first step in terms of a hands-on role, do you feel? Yes, I think so. Uh, it's the first step, I will be very focused and committed on this first step because for me, obviously, there's a lot to learn. Uh, it's my first role in the club in this situation, but with my business acumen, uh, I had to uh, have some knowledge about operations and uh, people management. So I think I'm, I've got everything to start in this new role. Uh, but obviously, uh, football environment is a bit different. Uh, new club, new country, uh, because my business was in France. So no, it's, there's a few months to get into the feeling of the people in the club. I had this for previous six months, but now I'm fully involved, so you still have uh, some time of, uh, to adapt. And after that, I it will be up and running and be able to uh, enjoy it. It gives an idea of what you've learned about the football industry over the last couple of years in that transition from being a, a player to yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of the off-field side of how football works. Yeah. As a player, you're always asking for better quality of that, better quality of that, money, money, money. And obviously, when you're behind the, the when you're outside of the pitch, there is some cost in the club, uh, there is uh, some budget you have to look after. So I understand sometimes the fans are in need of uh, spending money for this or that, but to make sure the club sustain, there is a budget to look after. So behind the door now you understand why there is some department we cannot spend money on or why we have to restrict some kind of uh, spending. And uh, so I'm pleased now to be able to see both worlds and to have a uh, a discussion with players to make them understand why we're not doing this or why we, do, we are doing this this way and help them to okay be okay with that and also if I can have some chat with the fans to you know make the, the link between everyone uh, I would be pleased to do it. How eye-opening has it been for you to see the other side of football? You've experienced it as a player yes. and you were I'm sure at times going and wanting this wanting that as a, you know different yeah. things around the place but when you see it from the other side uh, what you realize is the people behind, the, outside of the pitch, I would say, we say behind the door, but it's outside of the pitch, are doing their maximum for the club to sustain and for the players to have the best situation, to support them the best way. Sometimes you don't realize that as a player, you think they're not doing the job for any reasons, but seriously, the people involved in the club at Blackburn for every department are doing their best and they're working hours and hours and hours to make sure they support the players the best way. So I was surprised and I was a bit, uh, um, sometimes, I don't know the word, but it was a, a slap in my head to, uh, to see the work they put for you to perform in the weekend. 
So being on the other side, you understand now that uh, the players are in the best environments and the best situation for them to be ready to win the, the three points for the Saturday on the Saturday game. You mentioned the supporters there. You know, previously spoken about um, bringing everybody together at the club, but how important the supporters are part of that as a wider extension because they are part yes. of the football club. Of course, we need them. We need them to, to turn up uh, for the games. We need them to understand uh, the plan of the club, where we're going, why we're going this way. We, we need them to support when there is some change at the club because you are a fan of Rovers not just for one day or one season. You have to be a fan for 10 days, 20, uh, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. It's a long term support we need from the fans. So I'm pleased that we have this, but obviously we want more at the stadium on Saturday. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, excite, and, uh, excite them more on the pitch. and. Uh, we bring them more fun in the stadium. And how important the supporters sort of know the vision for the football club so they are able to get behind it as well. Is that communication an important part of it? Yes, I think so. Communication is key. Uh, they have to understand what's going on to a certain extent, obviously. Uh, but um, yes, if you want them to feel part of the club, they would need to feel, to know what's, what's happening in the club. So no, I'm, pleased, uh, I'm pleased. We are doing this already, uh, Steve. Uh, uh, Steve Waggart is doing his best to make sure the fans understand what's happening in the club. Uh, but there is always a way to improve on everything. And I think Steve is working on this to make sure we all align in the same direction. Just give us an idea about how things work in terms of the structure. You mentioned Steve there and how you fit in within the organisation of the, the football club. I will be, uh, I will be based in, at STC uh, and I will report to Steve, obviously, as a CEO to make sure uh, all the operation, operation on site and the academy are in the right situation and uh, um, well handled by, by everyone. Um, so it will be my direct report. And, uh, but we align as a vertical. Uh, is, I'm not the only one to report to him, obviously. There is the academy, head of academy. Um, there is the head of recruitment. There is the John, obviously, John Stas, who is the probably the main mind to support at STC. So with some kind of group of leadership to make sure like uh, the club is going in the right direction and, and uh, give our best uh, to give the best support for the, for the team on Saturday, which is the most important for us. And the club going in the right direction. Last year was tough. How important that that is put behind us now and we do look towards the future and, and growing and trying to get you said it before, where we want to be ultimately. Yeah, we want to achieve the, the greatness, which is going to the Premier League. Uh, I think that's that's a goal everybody's got in his mind. Uh, so now there's a few steps before we can get this. So we try to structure the base correctly to make sure that then we can improve and improve and improve to get there. So there is some work to do, obviously. Uh, last season has been very difficult for everyone, from the players to the staff to the fans. So now we're going to try to start fresh, fresh mind, uh, fresh legs and uh, fresh environment and uh, to, uh, to, to try to achieve high performances, but not only on the pitch, but also behind the door. And finally, you know, how, how special is you having the role at this football club, given your connection with Blackburn Rovers as well? Is there something, that's, was there a pull here for you because of an emotional tie? Yes, that's very exciting. Seriously, I, I, I couldn't start in a better place than Blackburn Rovers. For me, it's, uh, that's why I can only thank uh, uh, the ownership, uh, Steve Waggart, uh, Suhail, uh, to make sure they give me the opportunity to to start there and I'm very excited to be a, a part of the of the environment now and I will give 100% if it's not 200% for the club as I did when I was a player. Rudy, it's great to have you back. Thank you very much, I appreciate it.